road again. We uh, took a couple of weeks off and visited with family and friends. And now we are leaving Rochester and it's beautiful. It's Friday, uh, July 14th, um, 2017 obviously. So we are just leaving and it's a little overcast but very humid, 82 degrees. And around this corner you'll see the view of Rochester and the beautiful city skyline that we have. And there's not too much traffic yet today and hopefully we'll avoid a lot of construction, but we'll see since it is construction season. So here is the Anthony, Susan Anthony Bridge and to the right is Rochester. Oh, it's so pretty. So we are headed to Cleveland today for the weekend to spend some time with some friends there. And then from there we will be going to Michigan. So we will show you what we see. Talk to you guys. Oh, and Brian's driving. Hi, Brian. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Very enthusiastic, Brian. Thank you. <laughs> so we will uh, let you guys know what we see if we see anything cool on the way to Cleveland. And otherwise, we'll show you stuff from Cleveland. See you guys soon. Hey guys, it's Sunday, July 16th, and we are leaving the Cleveland area and heading to outside of Detroit, Michigan tonight. So we just wanted to check in. We uh, had a really great weekend with friends in Cleveland and didn't really take any videos, but um, we will definitely try and take a lot more videos once we get to Detroit, of course. So. Just wanted to uh, check in. Uh, it's about 86 degrees here. It's pretty warm, but it feels nice. And Brian is driving as per usual. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Hi. <laughs> so it was a great time in Cleveland with our friends, Lindsay and Wayne. Um, and we are looking forward to Detroit and what Detroit has to offer. And uh, while we were in Cleveland yesterday, we saw the USA Gold Cup uh, soccer match at the Cleveland Brown Stadium. So that was really cool and the USA played Nicaragua and the US won. So it was really exciting. We had a really great time and stuff. So um, yeah, so that's all for now. And we will uh, check back in when we get to Detroit, Michigan. Yay! Hey everyone, we're here today in Dearborn, Michigan at the Henry Ford Museum. Uh, this property is absolutely humongous. There's an actual Ford plant, Ford plant tour, a recreated village of uh, what workers' houses and the, the factory looked like in the 1920s, and the museum here. Uh, we're here all day. We just got to Michigan yesterday. Uh, we're going to go explore Detroit a little more tomorrow, uh, but for now, we're going to go explore this museum. Probably will take all day, and we're pretty pumped to see it because it looks pretty cool. As you can see right behind me are former presidential limos. So we're gonna go check it out. So we just completed our tour of the Henry Ford Museum here in Dearborn. Uh, the museum is huge, it's part of this huge complex as I said before. Uh, it has everything, everything from Ford's cars to tractors, trains, planes, and also just plain American history, which is pretty rare that they have, including uh, Rosa Parks' bus and even the chair that Lincoln was shot at. Not exactly sure why they have that, but it's pretty cool to see. Um, it's an insanely cool museum and one that we would definitely recommend anyone, if you're in the Michigan area or coming through here for whatever reason, come uh, see Henry Ford's museum and uh, you'll have a good time. everyone today we are in downtown Detroit we're currently at Detroit's Eastern Market uh, the city had a lot of markets back in the 1800s this is the only one to survive uh, this was built in the 1850s and the area where we are is actually the largest um, historic market district in the US which is pretty cool uh, today's their Tuesday market, so the market's open every day, but really nothing's here except for Saturdays and Tuesdays. But we're here on Tuesday, which has a smaller variety of uh, plants and everything, and then there's a whole wellness um, kind of thing going on where there's colleges and a yoga class and all sorts of interesting things to keep your body healthy. 
Uh, so we're gonna walk around, take some pictures and videos, and explore the area too, which seems to be pretty cool, uh, before continuing our day here in Detroit. So we'll catch you soon. into the Guardian building and it's absolutely gorgeous. We're in Detroit and this is the area we're looking at right now. And here is more of the Guardian building that we're walking into still on our tour in Detroit. There's Brian. Hello. Hey everyone, uh, today we come to you from the campus of the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. Behind me is the iconic Michigan Stadium or the Big House as they call it. Uh, some cool facts about it, it is the second largest stadium in the world, second only to North Korea's main stadium. Uh, it holds a little over 107,000 officially, although unofficially it has hosted um, as many as 112,000 as it did a few years ago uh, for a Michigan Notre Dame game. Uh, we're going to go explore Ann Arbor today, maybe take a walk around the stadium. Uh, school's out, so it's not as busy here as it would be during uh, school sessions. Um, but nonetheless, uh, it's supposed to be a really cool town. And uh, college of course. Um, huge college town. Uh, but we're going to go see what we find and take some pictures and some more video. Go Blue! <laughs> Today we are in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and they are currently setting up for their arts festival here for the weekend. Um, it's a really cute, college-y town, um, lots of cute shops and everything. Um, we're just checking out what's here, and we'll let you know what we find. We're on the University of Michigan campus, and we are just exploring their campus. It's a really big campus. Um, we're just we just walked into the library and it was really beautiful and um, we'll show you some pictures that we took in there. So we're going to walk around more of the campus and see what there is and then also see more of the city. So we'll show you what we see. We're in Lansing, Michigan right now, which is the capital of the state. Um, behind me is the state capitol building. It was finished in 1879. Um, it's a really nice building. I'm not sure if we're going to get to go in it, but if we do, we'll try and take some pictures and video. Um, Lansing is a pretty smallish town, it seems. There's um, a downtown area that has some shops and restaurants, but not a huge area at all. Um, but we're going to check it out, and if we find anything cool, we'll show you. So we just walked into the Capitol in Lansing, the Capitol building, and I just wanted to show you this. This floor that Brian is currently standing on is all glass. And then we wanted to show you the view. If you look up of the, the dome. So it's really, really beautiful. We'll show you more if we see something cool. Hey everyone, we're here today in Battle Creek, Michigan, which is home to Kellogg and Post Cereals. 
unfortunately uh, they stopped doing tours in 1987 so we're about 30 years too late for that but uh, it looks like this city has gone through a big revitalization process new parks new streets everything is clean uh, we can't say many people are here maybe it's just because it's a Thursday in the middle of the workday uh, but it is really nice. We're gonna go check out their little history museum and maybe get a coffee. I don't really know. We'll figure it out. Uh, but we found this cool little river which cuts through and there's walking paths and parks around it and everything. Uh, so we're gonna go to the history museum, check that out, and if we see anything else that's cool, we'll take videos, pictures, and all that. So, Battle Creek. We are in Michigan's wine country over near, not too far away from Kalamazoo and um, south of St. Joseph and we were going along and we saw this huge hop farm. So there's all these hops growing on the vines here as you can see and it's going really slow so you guys can get the whole view of how massive this hop farm is. Today we are in St. Joseph's Beach Park in um, Lake Michigan. It's beautiful here with the lake. Um, it's really sunny, it's mid 80s, and it's been a really nice day today. We just went to a couple of wineries and then later we're going to Kalamazoo. So take a look at the view. Michigan. It's a beautiful day here. We just got out of our lunch um, at the Tacos del Conado at the downtown market. It was really, really delicious food. Um, and we're just going to go to Founders and see what, uh, the beer and everything there and see what they have there. And then also see what Grand Rapids has to offer. So we'll show you what we find. And we just left Founders. And we had a flight that we split and it was really delicious beer so obviously lots of people know what about the Founders Brewery so if you haven't ever been here definitely make it a place to come soon. 